Hello and welcome to the chart of the month from Silicon Valley Mobility for February 2020. This month I want to share with you two observations that I've made over this month uh, that make me think we might have a better handle at where we are at with autonomous vehicles. For one, I went to a workshop this month, just actually two weeks ago, and we had the usual suspects, uh, which were investors and entrepreneurs and technology experts, myself as well, and we discussed what's the state of autonomous driving and when and how might it come to public roads as a real service and product. And we discussed quite a bit all the different forms that we have seen, like autonomous shuttle vehicles and like real passenger vehicles that you can purchase, delivery vehicles, trucks, even drones and the likes. And we discussed quite a bit that most of this actually is happening in parking lot demos. And then actually one of the people present there, an investor said, you know what, the days of burning money in a parking lot are really over. So that I found really very poignant, bringing it to the point and saying we spend so much passion and also investment and excitement about all these look ma, no hands, vehicle can drive itself in a parking lot demo, but that's over. We have to get serious now, we have to show that it actually really works. Well, speaking of it works, the second observation this past month was actually this. I actually saw a Waymo test vehicle outside my house here in Palo Alto. The exciting thing about this is that I live actually on the western side of Stanford campus, whereas I've seen for a long time these Waymo vehicles on the eastern side of campus, and certainly in Mountain View and uh, Los Altos, where you can basically find them any time of day, any day of the week, and they are testing and testing and testing, and I used to say, well, as long as I don't really see them outside my house, how would I believe that this very focused testing actually is going to disrupt the mobility and uh, will actually be available to me as a normal consumer? Um, now, what's the point in this? What, I, what do I want to say with this? You remember maybe from last month when I talked about these innovation and um, projections for things that might happen in the future and I said there are three categories it's like what is possible so not a high likelihood but still it might be possible to happen what is probable somewhat likely and what is certain almost guaranteed to happen and related to these two things for one actually that I see Waymo vehicles testing outside my house and also the statement that was made about burning cash and parking lot demos, that's over. I would say for one what is certain, absolutely autonomy is coming, there's no doubt. But I cannot really get more specific with this with certainty. But what is probable, so what is relatively likely, I think that funding, at least for the early stage uh, AV companies might be dwindling. We are done with the parking lot era. Uh, but way more might actually start for real anytime soon now. So that would be very exciting to see. So what is less possible um, or just within the realm of uh, what might happen, that is autonomy is going to disrupt mobility soon. So there I would really say we don't really see enough what it might be. And um, I'm curious to hear what you think. What would you make out of these two observations or what observations are you making right now in your area uh, regarding autonomous driving? For sure, continues to be an exciting topic. I look forward to hearing from you and I'll be back with more news soon. Thanks for watching today. Bye-bye.